In this video here we will look at the soil type that is common in most farms around County Leitrim. It amounts to a 3 to 4 inch sod of reasonably good topsoil um, with about a 6, maybe 7 or 8 inch subsoil which is of very poor quality and that overlays an impermeable layer of daub. As you can see here in this field this recent very heavy rain of torrential variety has left the land incapable of uh, drainage. It has become completely saturated and the actions of the animal movement on it since that has caused serious poaching. Now I hope to rejuvenate this piece of ground using um, chip shores with pipe and over that we will run a mold plough um, which will help network those pipe drains and hopefully remove a lot of the water here. Um, after that I propose to spray off and do a minimum till on this field so that only the top two inches of this topsoil um, are millerated and I will be reseeding with grass varieties, more of the older type grass varieties. Um, that is a subject I will come back to later on. But as you can see, serious damage from recent heavy rains. Um, the productivity of soil type like this in these conditions is really negligible. And by making improvements, not necessarily very expensive ones, the uh, productivity can increase dramatically, the efficiency of the farm, um, and also the carbon footprint of the farm can be improved. So uh, in our next series, we will be looking at the different other types of soil, um, which are moory type soils, which are also found in Leitrim predominantly, and the challenges associated with farming those type of soils. Thank you. This is another type of soil in Leitrim found predominantly. Um, it's a moory, dark black browny earth. In this case here we have again a drainage problem compounded by very heavy rain over the last few weeks. Once the saturation level of this soil has been reached, again it's underlaid with a daub, gravel underlay, and the soil is not capable of drainage. Again, we can see the invasive species rush, um, uh, commonly most of the time. We also have other um, St. John's Worth, and we have other species that are in some cases toxic to livestock. We have buttercup, and as you can see the damage is, is extensive. Again we're going to look at a different type of technology for the drainage of this land um, and once that is done because it isn't capable of being mole ploughed, more ground cannot be mole ploughed, we hope to reseed this using again minimum till techniques and we will look at that in our next series of videos.